Hello Aquarius, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot and I'm here today to present Aquarius general tarot messages for the week ahead. Thank you so much for being here Aquarius. Now let us get into your messages for this week. So we're going to use these divine cards and from what I'm seeing I see that some of you may be caught between a crossroads. Should I go down this road or this road, right? I feel like the roads are, should I go with my typical normal behavior or view on life or should I take this opportunity and make a change? So I feel like you'll definitely be going down the road that's going to cause evolution in your life, cause you to move out of your comfort zone and be different. I see you aligning with your love innately. This could be you wanting to align with a mother figure or getting married perhaps. This could also be you wanting to really just align with your sense of emotional maturity, being confident, graceful, being ready for even family settings, trusting in your innate ability, your sixth sense. So many people trod this earth using their five senses just observing what's what's out in the environment and then reacting or responding but i feel like that is what you're shifting from from being just a typical normal person where you're responding and reacting in the same ways that you normally do and shifting into a higher perspective where you're tapping into that sixth sense which is your intuition and that is coming from a place of love it could be guidance from a mother figure all right loving nurturing caring wanting to be more settled in yourself i see you moving forward aquarius and starting to really work on yourself you're a very skillful worker you're good at what you do working with your hands creative energy as well i see you're really focused dedicating your time to work on your value in yourself and therefore healing heart healing your heart being true to yourself being grounded too actually providing a service for others that are around you just working diligently and looking for guidance internally right looking for guidance from a place that is calm and settled just in the depths of yourself instead of externally with the two of swords card here i definitely feel like you have guidance this is from like an angelic presence i feel aquarius as if something is coming into it could be a light just imagine you going out at night and you're seeing a st like a, a star that is so unusual it's that kind of a guidance energy as if that presence is around you something new a new awareness a new awakening a new enlightenment coming through to you i feel and that's what that is the road that you're heading on you know oh my gosh we have the strength card for you being strong Yes, so being strong, standing your ground, I feel, the side, you know, not being sidetracked, distracted by your normal, the routine, or even family and friends that are around you. Being strong, grounded in what you believe in, right? Moving forward, actually tapping into your real strength, your power, your gifts, your magician energy acquires. I feel like you're very talented. You're very quiet in some respects because I feel like you, you do work internally. You're able to manipulate the external environment to really match your desired outcome. Like this woman here is taming a lion, right? So it's all about that internal chemical alteration and that's alchemy. Being able to change the chemical inside of you and then the outside actually aligns with what it is that you want. That is this energy, tapping into your intuition, going forward, your strength. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups. Maybe you're alone, some of you. I'm going to read this in upright. I feel there's something coming in for you. Something to celebrate, something to look forward to. Maybe being in a family that really resonates with you. People that know how to celebrate with you moving forward. There could be something being celebrated in your life. It could be 
you moving on this journey forward where you're being of service, right? Uh, you're taking responsibility for your life. There's something to celebrate here. Happy, there's like joy, there's a lot to be thankful for. This is like winning that battle and coming out on top. This is healing also. I feel like this is also guidance for you to be, go on this journey of real self-love and coming to the queen of cups, right? Go on this journey for real self-love. I feel like it's celebration. It could be marriage. Someone could be moving away and that is a celebration, you know. Um, and not, you know, so that, that that's what I see here for you with this card. The Swords card. So this is your energy. It could be you that's moving or coming through, something coming through for you swiftly. Uh, being grounded and stable, having an identity. Uh, backed by your courage, your dignity, your integrity. Could be this that's coming in for you. Oh my God. And then we have the two of cups. You could have a soulmate. You could have a soulmate that is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a cups energy, water energy, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio coming that you may want to go and offer love to. This is a soul of souls card. Two people uniting. This could also be you aligning with your, this is the two of cups. So it could be you aligning a course with your, with your love for yourself, doing things that makes you happy, taking care of who you are, eating well, exercising, sleeping, meditating, working on yourself. And I feel like maybe after you start really aligning with the love for yourself, then maybe you start meeting someone else that's going to really help you to develop this sense of love. There's balance here, healing, giving, moving. I feel like uh, you are moving with grace because you sense that there's a presence in you that is moving you forward. I did mention earlier about this angelic guidance presence with the chariot card here. And it feels like it's being reflected here as if you're being surrounded or guided by some kind of innate presence it could be ancestral energy here and that's where you get most of your strength from cups energy fulfillment wish fulfillment so whatever it is that you are wishing for hoping to achieve it's going to manifest for you here well actually having a lot to be thankful for expressing yourself well trusting in you knowing who you are and what it is that you bring to the table aquarius going forward There is something coming in that's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. So as I said, this is your wish fulfillment card. So expect like blessings or emotional satisfaction coming up for you within this week. Mm. <laughs> this is the lover boy, right? The lover boy or girl energy, the page of wands. Just feeling yourself, looking attractive, uh, dainty. I'm looking at, just looking at who you are, self-admiration. This could be you admiring another person. This could even be another person that is feeling out your energy and admiring you. Wanting to go forth. Maybe you're wanting, really wanting to go toward a person and make a love offering here. Uh, I don't feel like there's a lot of grounds to <laughs> create that foundation for you, like what to trust in, because I feel like you're going with this just just attraction energy here sex i feel like it's sexual attraction somebody may be coming into you maybe someone is leaving the home here for some of you um okay so now we have the six and this is you feeling good the six of pentacles card having enough to give to share to to bring balance to help you to feel grounded giving also makes you feel good i feel like when you're not giving you don't feel valuable in yourself and that's what i feel like this whole reading is saying is to re-establish that sense of value that innate sense of value in you by diving internally getting to know who you are and bringing forth that trust that will keep you on that path forward some of you may desire to be uh entrepreneurs here or philanthropist energy where you're, you're able to give back and create some balance and stability 
maybe for some of you you feel like you're you give too much as if maybe you're being taken advantage of moving for so Aquarius I do see there's movement here you could be picking up the pieces and moving away from a situation that is not serving you are you just really creating more stability and groundedness for yourself Aquarius okay because I, I said maybe you wanted to go a direction that's going to serve you and you have to leave maybe family members or relationships behind that weren't serving you so this is you picking up the pieces and moving forward and just you in this act is is and is creating that sense of stability in yourself and then we have the king of cups energy present so wanting to move us move into a feeling of more stability emotionally wanting to possibly start a family for some of you Aquarius because we do have plenty of water energy out here a family having a child um, moving in that direction just being grounded and stable having your business set up your family is running well and smoothly oh my god and at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of cups so expect abundance coming in emotional fulfillment so just be ready to receive this for this week whatever decision it is that you're making to move forward it's going to bring you that feeling of success emotionally this could be a love offering coming into you once again with these two cards here and then it's going to cause you to feel emotional fulfillment for you this week so I feel like this week is definitely love energy and this could be with you and some other person a water sign perhaps as I mentioned earlier okay Aquarius this has been your general tarot card reading Aquarius for this week I do hope that you found messages in this tarot card reading session that was able to help you along your journey thank you so much for participating and I'll see you next time and until then Aquarius remember that you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all okay and all is within you much love take care bye